the purpose of this module is to give you a basic understanding about lists and images in HTML5. This module covers the following concepts of lists and images in HTML5. Creating lists, nesting lists, inserting images. In class 7, you have learned how to create an HTML document in a text editor such as Notepad and view it in a web browser. You have also learned about some basic HTML tags and attributes using cascading style sheets. In this chapter, you will learn how to create different types of lists and how to insert images in an HTML document. HTML5 supports several types of list elements that we can include within the body tag of the document. These elements may even be nested, that is, one set of elements may be embedded within another. List item tag, li. We use the list item tag, li, to define each item of a list. Once we define list items with the li tag, the list appears in web browsers in bulleted form, by default. Different types of lists that we can create in an HTML document are unordered, ordered, and description lists. Let us type the HTML code given below to see how the li tag works. The output of the code is shown here. Working with list properties. Using list properties, you can specify the style and position of the list item marker. Various list properties that are common to both ordered and unordered lists are given here. Note, another property called the list style type property is used to specify the type of list item marker and has different values for ordered and unordered lists. We will discuss this property under UL and OL tags. Unordered list tag, UL. An unordered list is used for items in which the ordering is not important. An unordered list is also called a bulleted list. The list is defined using the UL and slash UL tags. Each item in the list is defined using the LI tag. The bullet style can be added to the list items by using the list style type property as given here. Here, a circle specifies a hollow bullet, a disk specifies a solid round bullet, and a square specifies a square bullet. The HTML code given here will explain how to create an unordered list. The output is shown here. Setting an image as list item marker. You can use an image to mark the list items in an unordered list. The address of the image is specified using the list style image property. Consider the HTML code shown here to set an image as a list item marker. The output is shown here. Ordered list tag, OL. An ordered list defines a list of items in which the order of items matters. An ordered list is also called a numbered list. The list items are enclosed within OL and slash OL tags. Ordering of the list items is given by a numbering scheme using Arabic numbers, letters, or Roman numerals. The list property used for an ordered list is shown here. 
The HTML code given here shows how to create an ordered list. The output in the web browser is shown here. Apart from creating ordered and unordered lists, HTML also allows nesting of lists. You can nest any list inside another list. For example, an ordered list can be nested within an unordered list, or an ordered list can be nested within another ordered list. The HTML code given here shows how nesting of lists works. The output of this code is shown here. Description list tag DL. The description list tag is used to build a list of definitions. The following tags are used for creating a definition list. DL. Description list. DT. Definition list term. DD. Definition list description. The HTML code given here shows the working of description list tags. The output of the code is shown here. We can use various types of fonts and lists in an HTML document as per our requirement. Similarly, we can add graphics or images to make the document look more attractive. You have already learned how to insert images as a background using the background image property. Now, we will learn how to insert an image to support the text. Web browsers support a number of graphic formats such as JPEG, GIF, and TIFF. The following are some of the most widely used formats. Graphics Interchange Format, GIF. This is the best format for displaying images designed with a graphics program. This format uses a maximum of 256 colors and a combination of these to create more colors. The GIF format is not suitable for photographic images or images with gradient colors because this format has limited colors. Joint Photographic Expert Group JPEG. This is the best format for photographs as it contains 1 million colors. Portable Network Graphics PNG. This format is best for images with transparencies or low color counts. Image Tag IMG. The IMG tag specifies an image to be displayed in an HTML document. The attributes of the IMG tag have been listed here. You have already learnt how to set margin, alignment, and border properties in class 7. The same can be used for IMG tag. You can also specify the height and width of the image using CSS. The HTML code given here explains the use of IMG tag. The output is shown here.